of subtraction for first graders. Now, in this lesson, I'm just going to show you more subtraction. I'm not really going to solve anything. It's just to show you what subtraction is all about. Just some more examples. But stay tuned because lesson three, we will do some subtraction problems and find out ways and how to solve them. Okay, so let's now get to this lesson. We see there are four cats in the room. One cat runs away. Now there are three cats in the room. So here's an example of this. So there are four cats in the room. One, two, three, four. Four cats. And then one cat runs away. Now there are three cats in the room. So this is an example of subtraction. Let's look at another example. There are five doggies dancing on the wall. Two bumped each other and had a fall. How many doggies are left after all? Okay, let's look at this. So there are five doggies dancing on the wall. Two bumped each other and whoops, they had a fall. How many doggies are left after all? Hmm, I see one, two, three. Let's take a quick look at that again. Here are doggies. One, two, three, four, five. And two bumped each other. One, two. And we are left with. One, two, three. Three doggies on the wall. Let's get to another example. So this one says there are seven cupcakes on the plate. Three cupcakes are taken away and eaten. How many cupcakes remain on the plate? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And three cupcakes are taken away and e eaten. That's one, two, three, and we're left with one, two, three, four. Four cupcakes remain on the plate. So that's all for this quick lesson, just showing you how subtraction looks. And we can see we're just taking things away that was originally there. Okay, so that's it. Bye.